Anyone need me to do number two? Number five, anyone need me to do number five? Number eight? No. Number 11, a few of you said. Oh, oh, number 11. I Can I leave out number 11? Because I shouldn't have given you number 11. I didn't notice that there was a two in front of the X squared. I'll deal with that in a minute. Okay? So leave out number 11 for a minute because I'm glad you weren't able to do it because that means I have teaching to do. Right? Number 14? Fine. 14? Okay, so number 14 reads um, x squared minus 9x plus 18. So you need to get the factors of 18 that add to give me 9. Okay, so the factors of 18 that add to give me 9. So I can have 1 by 18, they add to give me 19. So it's not that. 2 by 9 add to give me 11, don't they? So it's not that. It's not on. Sorry. And 3 by 6 add to give me 9. Okay, I'll just wait for that to come on. Okay, so it's Three and six because they add to give me nine. Is that okay? So I split this nine x into a a three x and a six x. Right. If I'm adding them a plus, that means I give them the same sign. So it's either plus plus or minus minus. And I want to end up with minus nine x. So what do you think? Minus three x minus six x. Is that okay? Then x squared is here at the front, and the plus eighteen is here at the end. Right, out of the first two, what's common? So you're left with x minus 3. Out of the second two, what's common? 6. Will I take out a plus 6 or a minus 6? Here's how you decide. I want the middle sign to be a minus, so I want it to change, don't I? So that means I'm taking out a minus 6, so that means the middle sign changes. So there's an x left, that becomes a minus, and 6 threes are 18. Right? Yes? No, no, um, the signs have to be the same because you're adding them, right? If that was a minus, the signs would have to be different. No, no, so my answer here is x minus 6 times x minus 3, but if you put in the, uh, the 6 first and then the 3x, Right, you would have ended up with x minus 3 times x minus 6, which is the exact same answer. Is that right? Okay, are we okay? Right, okay, that's number 14. Number 17. Anyone? You want 17? Right, so 17 reads x squared minus 12x plus 27. Okay? Right, so you're looking for the factors of 27 that add to give me 12. So factors of 27 that add to give me 12. Okay, so factors of 27, 1 by 27, no. Uh, 3 by 9, are they my factors? Yes, they are, because 3 and 9 add to give me 12. Okay, so you split this 12x up into a 3x and a 9x. And if you want to put the 9x first and then the 3x, you'll still get the same answer. Now, a plus tells me you're, you're adding them. And so that means they are signs of, in order to add, the signs are the same. Because remember the rules of addition, two minuses add and keep the common signs. Two pluses add them, keep the common signs. Right? So plus means you're adding them and you want it to be a minus 12 so that's a minus 3 and a minus 9 okay then we have an x squared here at the top and a plus 27 so then you take out what's common and you get x minus 3 and out of the second two there's a 9 common but I'm going to take out a minus 9 because I want that to be a minus and I'm left with x that becomes a minus 3 9 3's are 27 
right? And then your first bracket is x minus 9, and your second bracket is x minus 3. Are we okay? Right, that was number 17. Then I asked you to do numbers uh, 26 to 29, was it? Okay, does anyone need me to do number 26? Right, okay. So number 26 is x squared minus 3x minus 10. So for this one, you're looking for the factors of 10 that subtract. So factors of 10 that subtract to give me 3. Okay? So this one is different because we're looking for the factors that subtract Excuse me, please, Katie, to give me 3. So for 10, I can have 10 by 1. They subtract to give me 9, so it's not that. Or I can have 2 by 5. They subtract to give me 3, don't they? Would you agree? So here's my options. So I'm going to change this 3x into a 2x and a 5x. Now, I'm subtracting them. So subtract, they have to have different signs. So I'm going to give 1 a plus and 1 a minus. Okay? So 1's getting a plus and 1's getting a minus. Which way? You have to end up with a minus 3x. So that means the 5 has to get the minus because minus 5x plus 2x will give me minus 3x. So there's a bit of thinking in that step, right? x squared at the front, minus 10 at the back. Out of the first two, there's an x common, so x into x plus 2. Out of the second two, there's a minus 5 common, right? I'm taking out a minus. So that means the middle sign changes to a plus and 5 twos are 10. Okay, so the first bracket is x minus 5 and the second bracket is x plus 2. Okay, are we all okay with that? Now, um, that's 26. 27? Yes? But always be x squared. Yeah, yeah. If it's not, it's a different way of factorizing. Right. Okay. 27? No. 28? No. 29? 29. Right. So 29 is x squared minus 13x minus 30. Okay. Right. So you're looking for the factors of 30 that subtract to give me 13. So you want the factors of 30 that subtract to give me 13, right? So factors of 30, one by 30, they subtract to give me 29, so that's not it, okay? I can have two by 15, what do they do? Do they subtract to give me 30? Yeah. Yeah, yes, they do. So these are my options, right? But look, three by 10, now, they add to give me 13, don't they? But I want them to subtract to give me 13, so it's not 3 by 10 either. Is that okay? Because you, this sign means you want them to subtract to give me 13. So, right, okay, so they threw that one in just to test you, right? And the other option is 5 by 6, but they, they subtract to give me 1, so it's not those. Okay? So it's 2 and 15. So I'm splitting this into a 2x and a 15x. Right, I'm minusing them, so they're getting different signs. One's getting a plus, one's getting a minus. Which one will I give the minus to? Yeah, because I want minus 15 plus 2. Isn't that right? Or plus 2 minus 15 will give me minus 13. Yes? Minus 10 plus 3, Give it, do you tell me what minus 10 plus 3 is? It would be. So is that, is that the right answer? No. No. Right? Okay, so minus 30. Okay? So all the first two take out what's common, take out an x, and you're left with an x plus 2. All the last two take out what's common. I want that sign to become a plus, so I'm taking out a minus 15, and that left me with x plus 2. Okay, so my brackets are the same, so I make up my first bracket from the bit, and my second bracket is the common bracket. Okay? Yes? Is it wrong if the signs are split in brackets? 
Say that again. That's wrong. Okay, because you ended up, yeah, you ended up with a plus thirteen there. Okay, which is wrong. Okay. Yes, Rose. Yeah, so which one? X squared? X squared minus Right, okay. So let's just compare. I'm just going to write one under the other. Right, okay. So X squared minus 12X plus 27. Okay. In this one, you want the factors of 30 that subtract to give me 13. Okay. In this one, you want the factors of 27 that add to give me 12. Well, isn't it like that doesn't matter. Don't worry about that sign. Worry about that sign when you're splitting them up in the middle. But just to figure out what you split it up into, deal with that sign when you're here, when you've decided what you're splitting it up into. But to decide what to split it up, ignore the first sign. Because when you figured out the factors that subtract to give you 13, then you figure out the signs to give you minus 13. Okay? So you say 2 and 15, and then you figure out which one will give me minus 13. Do you know what I mean? So you use this one, you look, use those three pieces of information here, 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 and just the number to pick the factors. Then when you have the factors picked, decide which one gets the plus and which one gets the minus to make up that. Is that right? Okay. Right. What example did I finish on yesterday? Because uh, I'm just going to continue on with the examples. Right. Example. What number example did I finish on yesterday? So I'm on to four now. Yeah. Right. Example four, girls. I'm going to go back and do number 11, okay? So example four, girls, is actually number 11, okay? So, right. Now, what's different about this one? Why couldn't she do number 11 last night? What's different about it? The, you know, all the ones we've done up to now, they were x squared plus something x plus a number. Isn't that right? Okay. It didn't matter what was right, but they were all x squared on their own, like a 1 in front of the x squared. Would you agree? Yeah. So all the ones I've done up to there, right, there was no number in front of the x squared. Right. So when there's no number in front of the x squared, you'd be just getting the factors of 14 that add to give me 11. Right? But there's a number in front of the x squared. When the number in front of the x squared is not a 1, you're not actually going to be getting the factors of 14. You're actually going to take whatever that number is and you're going to multiply it by 14. So what? It's a 2. 2 multiplied by 14. What's that? 28. So you're actually going to be getting the factors of 28 that add to give me 11. So factors of 28, does everyone see where I got the 28? Where did I get the 28? Where did I get the 2? Front of the x squared. Okay, so if the number in front of the x squared is not 1, you have to multiply. Right? Okay, so that looks like an x. I'm going to write in the word multiply. Okay, because it looks like an x. Okay? Right. So when the number in front of x squared is not a 1, you have to multiply that number by 14 to get 28. So then you're actually getting the factors of 28. So the factors of 28 that add to give me 11. Don't worry that plus for the moment. We'll deal with that in a minute. So you're looking for the factors of 28 that add to give me 11. Is that okay? 
So factors of 28, 1 by 28, they add to give me 29, so that's wrong. Excuse me, please, Arena Gubkenshko to reception now. 2 by 14, they add to give me uh, 16, so that's definitely not them either, sure it's not? 4 by 7, what do they add to give me? 11, I have my factors, don't I? Okay. So that means I'm splitting up the 11x in there to a slip. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> to a 7x and a 4x. Is that okay? To a 7x and a 4x. If I'm adding them, what am I? Am I giving them the same sign or different signs if I'm adding them? Same signs. Same signs. And I want to end up with a plus 11, so what will I give them? A plus and a plus. Is that okay? Right, then I have an, a 2x squared at the beginning, and I have a plus 14 at the end. Right? With me? Then you pair off the first two. Take out what's common. What's common? x. What's left? 2x plus 7. Right? Out of the next two, what's common? 2. What's left? 2x plus 7. And hey presto, my second bracket is the same. So I make up my first bracket from the x plus 2. And my second bracket is the 2x plus 7. Okay, I'll do another example now. Is it down? <coughs> So example five. Eight <coughs> um, x squared minus ten x minus three. Okay. Is the number in front of x squared a 1? No. no. So what am I to do? What, what am I going to do? I multiply 8 by 3, aren't I? So 8 multiplied by 3, and what does that give me? 24. So I'm looking for the factors of 24 that subtract to give me 10. Factors of 24 that subtract to give me 10. Okay? So I have 1 by 24. No, that's subtract to give me 23. I have 2 by 12. Well, yeah, yeah that's the same, isn't it? Right, okay. I could go on and say 4 by 6, but they subtract to give me 2. Or I have 3 by 8, they subtract to give me 5, so it's not them. Do I have to keep going once I find the factors? No, I'm just showing you that they're definitely the factors. And girls, only ever one set of factor works, okay? Right? Are you with me? So you want to split this 10x into a 2x and a 12x. Now, am I giving them the same signs or different signs? Different because you're subtracting them. So you're giving one a plus and one a minus. Right? I want to end up with minus 10x. So which one will I give the plus to? Plus 2 minus 12. So plus 2x minus 12x will give me minus 10x, won't it? Okay, then I have an 8x squared at the front, and I have a minus 3 at the end. Agreed? Right, what will I take out? 2x. What's left? 4x plus... I've taken everything out, I can't just leave nothing there, so what will I put? 1. Right, okay. Then out of the second two, I take out a, what I take out a minus something anyway. Three. Minus three, and that becomes three by four x is twelve x. I took out a minus, so that becomes a plus, and three ones are three. Okay, and look, my brackets are the same, aren't they? So my first bracket is made up from two x minus three, and my second bracket is four x plus one. Right? Yes. Say that again. If you change 24, if you change 3 to 24, you don't bring back 24, you bring 
no, you bring down the three. You this is only using you to this is called the guide method. So this guides you into what to split up the middle term to. So the first term stays the same and the last term stays the same. Okay? Right. One more example? Yeah, sure, why not? Is that down? So example six. So example six is going to read 7x squared minus 19x minus 6. Okay, now, is the number in front of x squared a 1? No, so what have you to do? You have to multiply that number there by the number at the end. So 7 multiplied by 6 will give me 42. 7 sixes are 42. So I'm looking for the factors of 42 that add or subtract subtract to give me 19 okay so you want the factors of 42 that subtract to give me 19 so you have 1 by 42 have I got my answer no because they subtract to give me 41 I have 2 by 21 yeah because yeah. they subtract don't they right okay right if you hadn't found by what's working there, you have just three go in. Three by 14, is it? Three by 14 are another option, but they subtract to give me 11, right? And is that it? Six by seven, obviously then, right? Okay, but they subtract to give me one, right? Are you with me? Right, so split this 19x into a what? A 2x and a 21x. Now, I'm subtracting them, so subtracting them means I'm giving them what? Different signs, aren't they? One's a plus, one's a minus. Now you want to end up with minus 19. So what, which one will I give the minus to? No, plus 2 minus 2. Plus 2 minus 21x. Right, will give me minus 19, won't it? Then I have a 7x squared at the front. And I have a minus 6 at the end. Okay, so out of the first two, take out what's common. What's common? X. What's left? 7x plus 2. Out of the second two, what's common? Minus, minus 3. Okay, what's left? 7x, and that becomes a plus, and 3 twos are 6. So look, your brackets are the same. Great. So you make up your first bracket from the bit x minus 3 and your second bracket is 7x plus 2. Okay? Right. So I'll give you a few of these to try for homework tonight. Okay? So we're going to do page... Uh, page... Uh, 34... Okay, guys, I'm going to give you numbers 31 to 46, that column, and that isn't very many, so I'm going to give you the second column as well. So I'm going to give you 32 to 47, that column, okay? And I'll just pop up the book now, just so I can show you what I mean, okay? Right? So, I'm just popping up the book here now, right, okay, so 31 to 46, that column, and 29 to, or sorry, 32 to 47, that column, is that okay? Right, so these two columns, not the third column, these two columns, there's loads in it, okay, but get going now, and ha have I that page up on team since yesterday? I possibly do. I do? It's the same page as yesterday, so I probably don't have to stick it up. Maybe I do now. Maybe it's cut off. Is it? Your second years. Right. There's the answers. Yeah, and the page is, is page good? Yeah, the page is good. Right, okay. So have you all got it from yesterday? Okay, and the answers are up there from yesterday as well. 
So look, 31 to 46 and 32 to 47, just the column. Does everyone know what questions? Are everyone sure of what questions we have? Okay, and if you get stuck there, you have about seven minutes. If you get stuck there, stick up your hand and ask me. Page 34.